Let's set up your facial tracker so that it's working at its full potential with VR chat. Once you get your facial tracker plugged into the front part of your focus vision, the tracker is nice and small and it fits perfectly. You'll get a pop-up giving you more information about the facial tracker that you can read through. After that, click I understand. And if you don't want to see this every time, click that don't remind me box. If you want to make sure that the facial tracking is turned on, go to settings, input, facial tracker, and make sure the blue bar is showing. By the way, if you already have a face tracker for the focus vision, the next accessory that you need to get is the Vive Ultimate Trackers. That way you can show off your gymnast skills that you definitely don't have in VR chat. Please don't try this at home. You also want to make sure that your eye tracking is working to get the full experience. For calibrating your eye tracking, go to inputs, eye tracking, and make sure to calibrate. You'll then look as straight as you can forward, make sure your head is level, and let it do its thing. Then you'll stare at the blue dot so that the auto IPD system can calculate the distance between your eyes. You can follow the blue dot with your eyes and then look at each dot here to make sure the eye tracking is working correctly. After getting your headset set up, you'll want to download the Vive Hub online and connect your headset to your PC. So let's learn how to download Vive Hub on Windows. We're just going to click this download for Windows or if you have a Mac, of course, you could use the Mac download. And I'm going to go ahead and open vivehub.exe once it's downloaded. We'll go ahead and click yes let that load okay and once that's done downloading we're just gonna have all these checked vive streaming allows you to connect your vive focus vision to your pc with a usb c to usb c so that you can be corded and wired for 120 hertz refresh rate on your headset vive desk is a mixed reality app where you can see your monitors while connected to your pc mainly used for productivity and the vive ultimate trackers are one of our full body tracking options for the vive focus vision and for wireless headsets that can connect to steam vr so i'm just going to say yes to all those and then we'll agree and then we can hit next we'll download that on our main drive click install now's a great time to go get some snacks refill your water and go refill them. all right and once that's finished downloading we can click finish and this says set computer name so you can come up with a name for your PC click apply click start for setup and I'm gonna choose headset by focus vision this just tells you more about the different pieces you can learn more for the Vive streaming setup, and I'm just gonna exit out of that. Close this, and here we have it. It's standing by. And now I'll show you the next stages for how to connect to the Vive streaming hub with your headset. One more key note is that in your Vive hub, you wanna make sure you have eye and facial tracking data turned on. This can be found in the Vive streaming tab under input and by scrolling all the way down to the bottom. So now that you're in your headset, go to connectivity and make sure that your Wi-Fi is connected to the same Wi-Fi connection that your PC is connected to. And then you can go to library, connect computer and make sure Vive Pub is open on your PC and then you should see your PC come up click that and then you'll go to scan a QR code on your PC so let's go ahead and scan that make sure your mouse is not hovering the QR code sometimes that can abrupt it as well all right and now you are connected and next we'll download VRC face tracking so it looks like the current version it says that they have here is not working and that there's an alternative application distribution system that'll be available soon and so I assume that means that you're going to be able to download it a little bit easier in the future, but for now I'm going to show you the deeper way if you're watching this video before that has happened. Okay, so we're going to click here on the latest release on GitHub, scroll down, and we'll download 5.2.3.064 bit. I have it now on my desktop, yours will be probably in your downloads. And I'm going to go ahead and create a right click, create a new folder, and we'll just call this VRC face tracking. I'm just gonna move that into here for now. We'll double click that, open that. I'm gonna hold shift, right click. Yours might be just right click if you're on an earlier version of Windows. I'm on Windows 10. I'm gonna go to 7-zip and do extract here. Now 7-zip is a free to use open source file archiver, which you can click here and download this version to use it, or you can use whatever else that you have. Okay, now everything should be in here. We're just gonna scroll all the way to the bottom after it's unzipped and open the VRC face tracking. We'll go ahead and click allow. If they have changed it back to the other way by now, then you'll just be looking for the application, the EXE to run. Okay, and then we'll go to model registry and we'll scroll down here and we're gonna do the Vive streaming face tracking module, select that and then click install. All right, and once that is installed, that's awesome. Make sure you keep the VRC face tracking app open at all times when you are using your face tracking. So you'll have to launch this every time before you hop into VR chat to use your face tracker. 
Now you can launch Steam VR in your headset. Remember, VRC face tracking needs to be running at this point as well. After going into the VR chat settings, the bigger settings menu, and clicking avatars, scroll all the way down and turn on OSC. Also check to make sure that face tracking for your model is turned on. Everything should be working smoothly at this point. Remember when I mentioned that you could get full body tracking earlier? Learn more cool ways you can use the Vive Ultimate trackers without attempting gymnastics in this video next.